you know, are you surprised at all? And, or, and do you see this continuing uh, in a bigger way as, as time goes on? Well, we went through this at, uh, two and a half years ago at New Mexico. So I'm very aware of what's going on and what's happening. Um, I do the, see this continuing. I do see this being um, a landscape change. Um, we have this, we have this uh, potential athletics financial major problem, and there's going to have to be decisions made. Um, and for those that are saying, hey, you need to cut some of the bigger sports, we have to be in a reality and realize that's not going to happen. It, it won't happen. It's... And for us to think that it will, it, we're naive if we do that. So, what, and I've been kind of preaching this for a while and kind of falls on deaf ears. It's, it's time that we become proactive, make sure our administrations and our people that are making decisions can make educated decisions. Um, people are only as the information that are given to them. So... Um, what we as cross country and track coaches throughout the country need to, to do is be able to put data in front of administrators because there are going to be decisions at some point it's going to start happening at the power five. We're already seeing it at the mid majors, uh, just saw it in an Ivy league school that I don't know what Brown's endowment is, but I'm guessing it's massive. So if all these people it, it's just a matter of time, less Let's use an example of, let's say there's a football school that seats 80,000 in their stadium, and now due to governor's restrictions, they're going to start seat 30,000 in the stadium. That could be 20 million, and that's huge. Um, it's, so what we as administrators need to do is, or what we need to do for administrators is get data in front of them. We're six sports with one infrastructure. You want to be able as track coaches to take the emotion out of the decision. You want to be able to give information to administrators where it is black and white. Is it, it's objective data. We are absolutely bang for your buck in terms of six sports, one infrastructure. And that's important to know because those are, those are six end sports. So when administrators are looking at that, if they're looking and going through this based on emotion, you know, their, their husband might play tennis. Their wife might play golf. Uh, you might play in a softball league or a baseball league. Um, but we need to get them so there may be an emotional connection there. We need to take emotion out of decision making and put uh, objective data in front of them. So maybe our coaches association should hire a PR firm to get that message out to college administrators to board of directors, to board of regents. We truly are the best value in order to get six sports for the division one level. And we need to be proactive. Coaches need to have those conversations uh, with their administrators. And it's, you know, I could rant on this for, for hours, but it's, it's something we have to do as a body. And, I, I don't know how we do it, but it has to happen. 